Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Bessos. And we are so excited that you're joining us today to talk about the fruit of the spirit. Oh, oh yes, yes, and I came prepared. Hold on one minute. Okay. Okay, wait, what? Fruit party! That's fun, Bestos. But did you know that the fruit of the spirit isn't like the fruit on your head? What, what do you mean? Well, when we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like Jesus. Then we start having the fruit of the Spirit. It's things like love, joy, and peace. Oh, I, I see. So it's not watermelon half fruits. Okay, I will turn it again. Hold on one second. While we wait for Bestus to come back, let's worship God by singing and dancing. So everyone stand up and let's sing a song to God. You can all sit down now. Da, 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 hey! Da, 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 hey! Yes, I love the singing and the dancing! Uh, Bestos, what is that? Well, you said that the fruits of the spirit were not like the watermelon on my head, so I got many fruits on my head. Is that better? Well, um, I mean, I really like your hat. I do. But the thing is, the fruit of the spirit is not like any fruit that you put on your head. Oh! Is it the fruit that you put on your toes? You don't put the fruit of the spirit on your toes either. Hmm, this is a pretty tricky fruit. You know, I got an idea, Bestos. Let's watch our Bible story and see if we can learn about the fruit of the spirit through that. Oh, okay, I love the Bible stories. Me too. So friends, let's put on our listening ears. Got them? And our thinking caps. Okay, hold on, I gotta check out my fruit hat first. Okay. Got it. And let's watch our Bible story. Bananas! Slapstick Theater, Lydia. This is Lydia, Hello. who worshiped God and was a dealer in purple cloth. One day, Lydia was with a group of women by a river. Oh, hey! Paul and Silas came and started speaking to the women. As she listened to them, God helped her to understand and believe in what they were saying. She and her whole household were baptized. Lydia asked Paul and Silas to come and stay in her home. Okay. Paul and Silas stayed with Lydia many times as she always opened her home to them. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Do you get it now? Yes, I do. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. Bestos, what is that? It's a happy avocado. And why did you bring that? Because... I get it. The fruit of the spirit isn't real fruit. It's happy fruit. Yay! I think we have some more to learn still. Okay. Do you want to hear our Bible verse? Oh, 
yes, yes. What about you, Happy Avocado? Do you want to hear it? He says yes. Great. Our Bible verse is Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Okay, let's hear it. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's a lot of fruits, huh, Happy Avocado? Yes, and I know this song that's all about the fruit of the Spirit. Let's sing it. Oh, yay! And my Happy Avocado will sing too. Sounds good. Let's all stand up. And sing the songs! You can all sit down. That means you too, Happy Avocados. Did you learn anything about the fruit of the Spirit, Bestos? Oh, yes, I did. And I have another thing to show you. Hold on. Okay, let's see what it is this time. Cool pineapple guy. And how does that make you think about the fruit of the Spirit? But he is a fruit and he is cool. And you see, he wears sunglasses and it is cool when you have the fruit of the spirit. Well, okay, that actually seems like you're starting to learn something. Pizzas! What? Okay, I have one more idea. Let's go to Scuffington Farms. Oh, yes, yes, I love the mumus and the cluck clucks. We'll meet up with a few of the Scuppets who are learning about the fruit of the spirit. So let's put on our listening ears. And our watermelon caps? He means thinking caps. Yes! And let's watch Scuppets at the Farm. What are you doing? Hey, Winston. We just got the apples in from the harvest. Oh, do they look good? Most of them, but we have to sort them out. Why? Well, Bestos gathered them, so he just grabbed everything that looked like an apple. So some of them look good like this one. A red apple, like me. Yeah, but some of them, not so good. Wait, that's not an apple? <laughs> right. Can I help you sort them out? Sure. We just want to make sure that we only put the good apples in the good apple basket. You got it, Katie! Okay. Everything okay, Winston? Some of these are easy to sort, but some of these apples look good, but I'm not sure. Oh, I know. Maybe I should take a bite of each one. Now I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> That's a clever way to do it, but then you would end up with a bite out of every good apple. I guess I didn't think of that. You know, the Bible actually tells us that goodness is a fruit of the Spirit. What's a fruit of the Spirit? When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works in us 
to make us more like Jesus. Then we have the fruit of the Spirit. But it's not fruit like the apples here. It's things like kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. All those fruits would go into the good basket. That's right. So when we have goodness, we treat others well because we know Jesus. How can I treat others well? We can treat others well by thinking about how we would want to be treated and then doing that for others. So if you're feeling sad, how would you want someone to treat you? Um, I'd want them to sit with me, talk with me, and maybe play with me once I start feeling a bit better. So that would be a great way to treat somebody well when they're feeling sad. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Is this a good apple? It sure is. I think I got the hang of this. Uh, I don't think this is a good one. Nope. We better keep going. We have a lot to sort through. <laughs> we sure do. And we should go teach Festos what an apple looks like. Good plan. <laughs> That was so much fun! It sure was. I learned so much about the fruit of the spirit. What about you, Bestos? Oh, oh, yes, I did, I did. And I have one more thing to show you. Hold on. Ta-da! Bestos, where's the fruit? <laughs> Miss Amy's, the fruit of the spirit is not real fruit. Whoa, you actually learned that the fruit of the spirit is something that the Holy Spirit works to make in our lives. It's things like love, Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control! Wow, Bestos, nice job! Thank you, Mango. It's Amy. That's what I said. Okay. Well, friends, remember that the Holy Spirit works so that you can have the fruit of the Spirit. God loves you so much. And so do we, grapes! We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, strawberries! <laughs>